everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. Today, my friends, we truly put our brand new ranger loadout to the test. We have our Shroomite Arrow Armor, we have the Stalker's Quiver, the Recon Scope, the Ranger Emblem, and a bunch of other epic accessories as well. All of which mean that our Eventide and Tsunami both do well over 100 damage each, with over 45% critical strike chance each as well. So yeah, we are going to have a truly dizzying damage output. Now then, it's just become morning, so I am going to do a couple of things, I think. First of which is we're going to do a fishing quest, and then we are going to do the tier 3 Old Ones Army event. And after that, once it becomes nighttime, I'm hoping to do the pumpkin moon, so we can get ourselves enough spooky wood to hopefully be able to make ourselves the spooky armor, which of course is what? The highest tier? of summon armor, aside from the tiki armor perhaps, that we can make pre-moon lord. So yeah, fun stuff to come my friends. If you guys are still excited for the series and want to continue seeing more, please do be sure to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. And if you want to go on further with your support, of course you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs for 5% off. So then, to go really really above and beyond with our arrow damage, I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can't make myself a whole bunch more holy arrow because if we manage to get ourselves a bunch of these bad boys, oh man, using this with the Eventide and the Tsunami should result in a stupid, stupid amount of damage per second, my friends. Yeah, 2,410 Holy Arrows. That'll probably do us for a good amount of time, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, do we have enough Defender Medals by any chance for us to be able to purchase ourselves a Tier 2, maybe Tier 3 rod? I don't think we've got any of the sentry rods for tier 2 or 3. Well, we should probably still have a look. We've got the deadly explosive trap rod. I think that's only a tier 1 weapon. So, here we are down at the bottom. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, these are the tier 2s and the tier 3s, yep, are 60. Or oh, snappers, the explosive trap cane. Ooh, what are we thinking, guys? I'm thinking the explosive trap cane. Might as well see if we can squeeze out some more damage. Oh, mythical. All right, very good. So this first try, we are going to do it buffless. Aside from these little buff stations here, we're just going to use the ammo box and, of course, the bewitching table. And we're basically just going to see what exactly we can do right now, you know? So, ladies and gentlemen... Here we go. Oh, snappers. 15,000 health the Eternia Crystal has now. That was a lesser known change in the 1.4.4 update, as far as I can remember. Uh, so, yeah. Got some pretty cool things going on. Doing plenty of damage already. Oh, yeah. All right. So, here we are with the beautiful Tsunami. Oh, yeah. <laughs> damage galore, my friends. Although... I do kind of... Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tier 3 is a little bit nuts, isn't it? Okay, that uh, got a little bit hairy. A little bit quicker than I thought it would, if I'm being honest. And we've already got flying dudes rolling in here, my friends. Those little fire bug dude thingies. Oh, good God. Wow. This is... Uh, yeah, guys. I don't think we are in any way, shape, or form prepared for Tier 3 Old Ones Army. I'm actually struggling here. Yeah, this sub, I don't think I'm going to be getting too much further there, my friend. Those, if I'm being brutally honest. Yeah. Not so sure we're going to be going too much further than maybe wave three, four, maybe. Okay. I may stand corrected. I don't want to get ahead of myself, though. Let's just get rid of some of these guys here. And then... Another wave will roll on in here, my friendos. Okay, so now we're starting to get dark mages. So we definitely do need to be very, very aware of that. So on the left-hand side is a dark mage. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the dark mage. Oh, nasty. The dark mage just got riggedy, riggedy wrecked there, son. Nice. Okay. Very good. Another Dark Mage is about to go down here. There we are. Got some more flying guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's, who's, who's trying it? Hey, who's trying it? Get out of here. All of y'all. Come on now. Oh! Oh, I oh, died. 
Do you know what? Someone recently left a comment on one of my uh, recent Terraria episodes, and it was something along the lines of trying to focus on the amount of health you have while having all of this stuff going on is like trying to keep an eye on your phone when you got a child nagging away at you. And I thought that was a pretty funny comment, my friends. I really, really do. But uh, yeah, there we are. Odd One's army, unfortunately, prevailed. Ah, you hate to see it. But the good news is we did get ourselves uh, one or two things here. We got ourselves a Dark Mage Relic. That's something at the very least. Did we manage to get ourselves any other drops, though? That is the question. Any sign of a Master Mode drop? I do not believe we managed to get one. Oh, well. Never mind. I mean, it was still a kind of... It wasn't a very good attempt at all, in fact. Let's be honest there, my friends. It really wasn't. Let's be honest. It's going to be Moon Lord tier weapons where we might actually have a chance of taking down the tier 3 Old Ones army. It's always far more difficult than I seem to remember it being. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I don't know. But anyways, yep, that was the tier 3 Old Ones army. We got up to, what, wave 4? Towards the end of wave 4, but still only wave 4, so... Yeah, not that very good now, is it? Anyway, guys, check this out. We are actually fast approaching night time. So we have limited time here to uh, get my various bits and bobs done. Uh, we've got ourselves yet another pet here. Uh, is it one I already have? I don't believe it is. Ooh. And check this out as well. Again, a slightly lesser known change in one of the 1.4 sub updates. The war table is actually a buff station now. Right click to have more sentries. So just something to bear in mind, I guess, my friends. Ah, we may have a slightly more basic problem, ladies and gentlemen. I do not believe I've got pumpkins. Ah. That might explain why I've not done the pumpkin moon event just yet. So, yeah, I'm just going to start planting these pumpkins sort of randomly in between the trees here. And just sort of hope that we get ourselves a bit of a supply. Alrighty, so time to quickly check on our fishing quest. We've got ourselves a guide voodoo fish. Alrighty, let's see, my friends. We're looking for a guide voodoo fish. First time rolling. Oh, we didn't get it. Okay, that's not cool. What about second time going? Huh. Maybe it'll help if I switch to my fishing set. Yeah, look at that. As soon as I did that, <laughs> we got the damn thing immediately. All right, bottomless water bucket or super absorbent sponge. Boom! Uh, nothing. You know what? We're going to make this an episode full of events. I'm thinking we do Martian Madness during the day here, and then when nighttime rolls around, I'm hoping that uh, the pumpkins would have grown up in time. There seems to be a whole bunch of them growing already, which obviously is very, very good. But uh, yeah, we could certainly do better. We've got a new morning approaching, which is lovely, because we can now do another fishing quest, which is caught in the cavern layer. All right, fishing set on. We're going to get it first go, yes? Oh, I'm okay, fish. I mean, still kind of cool but not what we're looking for hey there we have it my friendos all right oh seashell hairpin what the heck is that huh. look at this look at some cool things here we've got like a little uh, planter thing again well presumably my friends i could just hang around this sky island here maybe do a few laps around it and eventually we should find ourselves i'm hoping a martian probe oh there, buddy. Go on then. Go summon your cronies in, you son of a gun. Here they come, my friendos. Hello, hello, and hello again. All right, let's see how we do this time. Last time, we did die a fair amount of times. <laughs> it's already not looking that great, if I'm being honest with you, but uh, ow! Son of a gun. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Man. Let's see if we can do a slightly better job of surviving. Ah! <laughs> Well, there goes the uh, deathless streak for this event. Oh, for goodness sake. You know what? I think I've just realized something, and now I've realized it, I cannot unsee it. The Martian Madness dudes. Some of them look suspiciously like Among Us characters, no? <laughs> and now that I've put that in your guys' heads, you won't be able to unsee it. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, though. There's no way in heck I am the first person to draw that comparison. No way, Jose. But, uh, yeah, like I say, now that I've realized that I can't unsee it. <laughs> All right, this is where things start getting interesting. Against a singular target, I can't tell whether the tsunami does a better job of taking down a singular dude than a, an Eventide. I honestly don't know. I'd say they're nearly level peggings, honestly. Oh, we got a Xeno staff again. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to get something else. 
So, I don't know, maybe we can get lucky with maybe a another saucer spawn? <laughs> hey guys, check this out. I just keep shooting to my left and boom, there they all are. Yeah. Oh, well, turns out this is easy as pie. I should have just blooming came up here from the off. This is incredibly easy, man. <laughs> well, unfortunately, there we are. The uh, Martians are indeed dead now. Oh, man, that was a lot of stuff we just got there. Very, very good. Uh, right. Only one saucer. That's all we managed to take down. Hmm. All right. We've now got the rest of the day to start preparing for the pumpkin moon. And do you know what? Maybe after the pumpkin moon, I'm kind of thinking of doing Martian Madness event because I really do want to try and get some of the other drops that you can get. There is a ranger weapon you can get from it, no? I can't remember. Is it called the Xeno Popper? I think so. Turns out I've inadvertently harvested a bunch of pumpkins accidentally. Uh huh. Interesting. All right. Well, nonetheless, we got ourselves a bunch of it. 159. I can't even remember how much you need in order to make the pumpkin mood summoner. Oh, no way. Turns out we did have pumpkins all along. <laughs> they were in the overflow chest. That's where they just quick stack to in the overflow chest. Oh. Why didn't I think to check that? I don't have ectoplasm. You are joshing me, right? Oh, for God's sake. All right, we're going to go get some of those bad boys. This is what we call speed farming, ladies and gentlemen. Just your boy sitting here with a tsunami with holy arrows. Oh, it does the job. It does the job so nicely. All right, five ectoplasm is the magic number. We need literally one. Oh, I just heard one of those guys die. And there we have it. We're just about done. All right, we are now... Very much against the clock. In fact, oh, for God's sake, did I really just get killed by a blue slime? Oh, man. Well, that is, that is quite possibly a serious ender in terms of how embarrassing that is. For God's sake, man, really? The event is about to start. Let's make sure we've got plenty satisfied on. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The pumpkin moon, the first ever one of the entire series on episode 47 here. Incredible, isn't it? Incredible to think that we're only doing this the first time now. Eh? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, the event tide is most assuredly doing the job. Yes, I am rather enjoying this. <laughs> so much damage per second being done. Love to see it. I've just realized as well, I didn't have my Xeno dudes on. There we are. Bit more of a damage output. You'd love to see it. We've already got headless horsemen dudes. Oh, what the hell, man? That is some craziness. Come on. We need... Ah, there we are. Our first boss. Maybe we can get ourselves a master mode drop or two from this guy, eh? Or from any of the bosses in general. It would be nice. See, the damage per second is ridiculous, and I love it. 4,000 plus damage per second is just amazing. Yeah. The event tide. Oh, god damn it. The event tide is beautiful, isn't it? All right. Another morning wood. Very, very good. Oh, let's see if we can take this guy down before we start getting pummeled. There we are. I think I've just about got him. Let's see what we can do with this guy, eh? This guy might be slightly more difficult to uh, hit reliably. But, you know, we're still doing kind of all right. Ow, get out my grill. Oh, I hate it when bosses get any grill. I truly do. You guys know that I hate it. I really, really do. Come on now. Come on. Wait, what is that projectile? What? What is that? Only a wave 11, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty amazing, considering we now don't have our buffs. So, uh, you know, I can't complain. <laughs> oh, we're doing an alright job, aren't we? There we are. That's like I've taken out the game. There's so much stuff on the floor. And barely any of it I can pick up because there's just too many dudes around now, man. Okay. Oh, we got a hexed branch. Nice! That's a master mode drop, isn't it? We are continuing on with the pumpkins here. That is another wave coming into play, ladies and gentlemen. And we've still got about five minutes left of the event here. I do believe we are going to be quite comfortably heading in to the final wave of this event. I don't imagine us having too many difficulties getting to final wave here, my friends. This is beautiful. I love this event. I really, really do. Great way of getting money. 
Great way of getting drops. It's just a good event. What else can I say? Oh, snappers. We're really not far off now, my friends. We are on, I think, the penultimate wave here. I think there's still only 15 waves of this event. I could be mistaken, but 15 is always the number that's stuck in my mind with this event. So give me just a hot second, and I'll let you know if it winds up being final wave. Oh, almost. Almost a final wave. Come on now. Maybe this morning wood will tip me over. Come on. Come on, buddy. You're going to go bye byes Oh, yes. <laughs> go bye byes very fast here. There we are. Oh. Wait. It's no longer final wave. Hey? This event only used to have 15 waves. It now seems to have more than 15. What is the magic number now, then? Is there 20 waves? Similar to the Frost Moon now? I'll tell you what, my friends. The event tide has absolutely shone through in today's episode, hasn't it? There is no doubt in my mind that this is one of the greatest pre-Moon Lord tier weapons that you can get in the game now. It is an absolute privilege to use this weapon. So then, about a minute and a half left of this event. I would be very surprised if we got ourselves the final wave here, my friends. I am, of course, assuming that wave 20 is the final wave nowadays. Never actually gotten to it, so that could be a bit of a stretch goal for the series, eh? Yeah. Oh, hello. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, let's just keep it nice and calm now, fellas. There we are. All right, another pumpkin taken out the game. Very, very good. Got a whole heap of a ton of these here headless horsemen, dudes. Uh, let's see if we can't take a bunch of these guys out. There we are. Dude, I've gotten so many drops, I've completely lost track of everything. I genuinely do not know what I've managed to get from this event. So, um, yeah. We'll probably have ourselves a pleasant surprise after this when we see just how much loot we've managed to get. <laughs> oh, you son of a gun. Oh, no, I did manage to get him. Oh, good Oh, Nice. All right. I don't even know what I've managed to get. All of this stuff in my inventory, about two-thirds of my inventory is stuff that we managed to get from the Martian Madness event. So, yeah, my void bag is going to be full to the brim, isn't it? Well, accidentally, we've managed to create ourselves a graveyard biome down here. So, um, that's something, I guess. <laughs> Holy guacamole! <laughs> yeah, baby! Oh, look at all this stuff! Wait, we did get it! The Witch's Broom! Yes! This is possibly my favorite mount in the entire game. And the reason it's my favorite mount is because this will go through a three block high gap. The same as your character. All of the other flying mounts, I don't believe, do that. They make you have a hitbox higher than three blocks high. But this one, oh, it's good, my friends. It is good. I think we found our new permanent mount. Hell yeah. All right, checking out the other stuff, of course. Plenty of master mode drops, which is absolutely wonderful. This is a master mode drop. This is a master mode drop. Uh, yeah, there's only two bosses, isn't there? So, yeah, everything else is just sort of all over the place, really. I mean, just look at it. There's so much stuff. Alrighty, my friends. So, in terms of, like, non-duplicate stuff and unique stuff, this is what we managed to get. We've got the Cursed Sapling, two times Necromantic Scrolls. I'm actually deciding to keep two of them because we can have one to have an extra minion slot and extra summon damage. And then the other one can be combined with, I think it's called the Hercules Beetle, for the Papyrus Scarab. And then we can use both of the accessories at the same time for even further summon buffs. Yeah? Pretty good idea, isn't it? We've got the candy corn rifle. We've got the stake launcher. We didn't get the horseman's blade, unfortunately. I wouldn't mind trying to get that because I think that's one of the uh, things needed for the eventual zenith. And let's not forget about the main article itself, of course, the spooky wood. I think 750 is the magic number we need, though, for the spooky armor. Yes, it is. We would indeed need to do this event again. But still... I mean, I guess we can make a bit of a start on making this stuff. So, yeah, we are going to need ourselves, what, maybe another 119? I think it's 250 for the leggings. All right. Oh, yeah. Goodie bags. I completely forgot about that mechanic. Once you go ahead and take down either the pumpkin moon or the frost moon, you get that seasonal event for the next day after it. So, yeah, we've got the Halloween seasonal event going on right now because we took down the pumpkin moon before. So, yeah, I'm pretty darn happy with that change, my friendos. I really, really am. Anyways, let's see if we can't get ourselves another Martian probe. Let's get some more Martians in the mix here. And we'll see if we can't get ourselves another weapon or two. Oh, hello. Go on, then. Go summon your cronies. It is time again, ladies and gentlemen. You think you're going to take me? 
me out the game. Oh, you have another thing coming. Oh, Martian boys, you don't half make this easy once I've got a bit of a ponage arena. <laughs> oh, man, do I love this game. When you find a way to do something well, oh man, you have got to capitalize on it. Yeah, just the enemy. Ow. Ah, oh my goodness me. Just the guy I was looking for, I was going to say. Until I wound up taking quite a lot of damage from him. Oh, jeez. All right, come on now. Come on now. Don't go getting ahead of yourself now here, Pythonator. Come on. All right. Arguably, the second phase is actually easier than the first. Just do a little bit of back and... Ow! Okay, don't get killed by anything else. That would make you a silly goose. Good. Kill it before it kills me! Oh, I got it. Okay, right. I don't know what I just got there, but it was something unique. And I died. Okay, right. I don't even care that I died. <laughs> uh, Python's positive life force became negative. Wow. Wow. Way to put a down on this situation, eh? Here we are. Another one dead. Influx wave, I just noticed. That is indeed one of the swords needed for the zenith. Fantastic. Oh, that was a bit of a derp now, wasn't it? What a monumental doofus I am sometimes. I just freaking went straight into the death laser. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that marks the end of this event. But the good news is we did still get ourselves uh, one or two new drops. So yeah, we've got the Electrosphere Launcher. This is indeed range damage. Ooh. Got the Influx Waver, of course. And we've also got ourselves the Brain Scrambler. <laughs> oh, look at this little dude. Whoa! It shoots? Oh my goodness me, hang on a minute. Oh, it doesn't, like, say how much damage it does. But look at this! Wow! I did not know that about the Scotlix man. It goes ahead and damages dudes. That's kind of cool, actually. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, go on, get wrecked. <laughs> I like discovering things for the first time, my friends. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm actually progressing with my knowledge in this game. So, yeah. Very, very good. Oh, when you forget that you still had a bunch of weapons in your void bag from before that you didn't even go ahead and check out. Yeah, we've got the Dark Harvest. We've got the Jack-O-Lantern Launcher and the Bat Scepter. Very nice. Quite nice that we managed to get a legendary Dark Harvest right off the rip as well. That is very, very nice. Right, I'd quite like to do a little bit of reforging before we really wrap up the episode, okay? I promise we're going to wrap it up, but I just want to do a little thing here. Starting with the Electrosphere Launcher. Come on now. We could do better than Demonic, potentially. I mean, Demonic is that... Oh, okay. Very nice. Very nice. Don't need anything on that. Influx waiver? Uh, sure. I don't think we're going to need too much on this, to be honest. Demonic will do quite nicely. Unpleasant Bat Scepter. We could probably do better. Superior? Uh, eh, we could probably do better than that even still. Godly. Yeah. All right. And the Jack O' Lantern launcher, finally. Uh, I'm looking for Unreal or Deadly? Oh, my word. There it is. <laughs> Oh, what a reforge sesh. Look at this stuff. All right, real quick, I'm going to assume that we require rockets for the Electrosphere Launcher because I cannot shoot it at this particular moment. Uh, so I guess we're going to go find the cyborg, right? And for some reason, he is actually up at the dead island here. So yeah, there we have it. Uh, rockets. Uh, we want ones that do not destroy tiles. We've got rocket threes. Okay, let's do that one. Still doesn't destroy tiles. Whoa. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that is very, very interesting. So 73 range damage plus 103 range damage. Oh, that's got some serious potential, hasn't it? Okay, right. Next episode is going to be us going after the lunatic cultist and maybe a couple of the pillars. So my friends, look forward to that. Let's do the comment of the day though, and we will wrap up the episode. Sathomis the seventh says I'd suggest going for Moon Lord first and then Clentaminating after because you can use the shimmer to upgrade the Clentaminator into the Terraformer. Ah, you see, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. So, yeah, I will absolutely go ahead and do that. The original plan was to contaminate all the world in time for the world download. But to be honest, I think I could still achieve that. Maybe episode 49 will be the Moon Lord episode plus Shimmer.
Hiroshima episode, right? And also, you know, contaminated the world episode. I mean, we've already done half the world. We've just got this side to do, and then that is it. So, ladies and gentlemen, for now, though, it's time to wrap up the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's action-packed episode and you're excited to see more, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, my friends, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.